Hey guys, it's Michelle with Florida Keys Birding, and today we're going to be talking about burrowing owls. We've got a hurricane coming to the west coast of Florida, so um, you might be wondering what's going to happen to the burrowing owls, where are they going to go, what's going to happen to their nests, so we're going to talk a little bit about that in the video today. Okay, so let's get it started. So where in Florida can you find burrowing owls? Um, generally, you're going to find them in southwest Florida, um, but you know, you can find them some in southeast Florida and Homestead. They say Homestead Airport is a good place to find them. Marco Island, Cape Coral, Naples, stuff like that. Um, there are some in the Keys, they say. I've never seen any here, but I know people who say they've seen them, but they're very few. So um, they say you can find them in Key West in certain places and at Marathon Airport. I've gone to Marathon Airport to try to find them, but I didn't see any. So, um, so yeah, I, they're here in small numbers. They say that there used to be more, um, I believe, before Hurricane Wilma, I think people say it was. Um, but now people almost never see them. So, um, so are these birds threatened? Um, in the broader U.S., you know, they're technically not a conservation, um, you know, uh, there's not like a huge con conservation effort. It's not, they're not supposed to be super threatened. But in Florida, they are due to habitat loss. So if you go to Marco Island, you're going to find them in empty lots. Um, but when people build houses on the empty lots, then they lose their habitat because they like to burrow in field type um locations, you know, so, um, but the good thing is there is an effort to protect them. They are protected in Florida. They're protected over there. You go to Marco Island, there's a sign that says that they're protected. Um, and you're going to find that, uh, there are people who set up burrowing owl nests in their yard and, you know, they cooperate with like local wildlife places and stuff like that. So um, they let, you know, they give them a setup, you know, to encourage them to, to nest in their yard. So that's pretty cool. I would love to be able to do that if I could, um, but they don't have that here. So, um, okay, so where do burrowing owls live? Obviously they live in their burrows underground, burrowing owls, <laughs> just like you expected. Um, you can find them out of their burrows, foraging for food, you know, kind of like hopping around, you know, flying into low trees trees and stuff like that, but generally they're going to be hanging out around or in their burrows. So, um, so this is something that you should know. Um, when do burrowing owls breed in Florida? Um, so their breeding season is generally between February 15th and July 10th, which is a good thing because you don't want them breeding in the middle of like hurricane, you know, season. I mean, I know, you know, hurricane season starts in June, but you know, in the peak, our peak hurricane season is like September, October, you know, that's when you're going to see the most activity and probably the most bad storms, you know, most of the time. I haven't seen a June or July bad, bad, bad storm in years, uh, in a long time. So it doesn't mean it can't happen, but it's good. And that's usually like the start of the rainy season, June, July-ish, but it's usually not too bad by that time. So that's good um, because if, if that happens, then their burrows can get washed out. So most have fledged by June um, and their, uh, their nesting does occur inside the burrow that they dig. They dig with those long, freak freakishly long legs <laughs> that they have. You can kind of see it in the pictures how long some of the legs are. Um, okay, so what do they do during a rainstorm? They do take shelter in their bur burrows in a regular rainstorm to stay out of the rain. Um, but rain and, and rain also seems to excite them. Uh, there have been reports of stated that burrowing owls will stretch out their wings and they'll flap around and run around and shake their feathers and preen during rain showers. So they do seem to enjoy it. Um, but I don't think that they enjoy a hurricane. So, um, so what, what can protect them during a strong storm like a hurricane or something like that? Um, so sometimes their burrows can uh, provide protection if there's no flooding or surge in the place that they are. Um, so they'll dig down really deep to stay protected. Um, but when a hurricane is starting to approach, they will leave their burrow and shelter near a thicket, like in hedges um, or the recess of a wall or, you know, a, a, 
of a room or a garden, um, building awnings or any place that's, you know, sturdy and thick that they can kind of weather the storm. And this does make sense to me because I noticed during um, Tropical Storm Ada, um, when it came through the Keys, as the wind kind of came over my house, the front side was super windy, of course, because that's the side um, that the winds were coming off of the ocean. But the back side of my house was pretty much blocked whenever I was on my back porch, um, kind of, you know, being nosy and seeing what was going on. Uh, you know, I don't recommend you doing that during a storm, but, you know, we, we, we did it. So <laughs> it wasn't a bad one. It was a tropical storm. So I uh, wouldn't do that during a worse one. So, um, okay, so what happens if their burrows flood? What, what, what do they do then? So since the breeding season is February to July, um, if a hurricane does come, <clears throat> uh, when the breeding season is ended, they will just fly to higher ground and the flooding won't affect them. But if it comes when there are still babies in the nest, um, you know, it's not a good fate for the babies. So um, although these owls uh, do not nest in trees, they will occasionally perch in trees and hunt or roost in them. Um, so, you know, you just have to watch out. I mean, it, you would want the the nest to be clear by the time a hurricane comes so the babies um, don't aren't affected and then they can just leave, go to higher ground. They can go to their trees, you know, roost in trees and, you know, go to a place that's safe. So that's what they, what they would normally do if their burrows were flooded. They would just leave the burrow until it dried out. So, um, so how well do burrowing owls fare during a storm? So the statistic says in uh, 2017 that after Hurricane Irma, out of 500 burrowing owls on Marco Island, all survived except five. Wow, so they must be really good at weathering a storm. Um, so yeah, they must do pretty well. Um, so what happens to burrowing owls after the storm? So apparently we aren't the only ones who come back to our homes to assess the damage and start to clean up. Apparently burrowing owls do the same thing when they return to their burrows and they'll start to clean out debris and they'll start to clear it out once everything kind of dries out. So if a storm is going to happen, it is ideal for it to come, like I said, once the breeding season is done um, and all the babies have fledged. Um, you know, and they can leave their nest and all that stuff. So, um, and then they'll, then they'll just wait for their home to dry out and they'll return, you know. So if, if they, if they are, uh, you know, with their burrow flooded, in the meantime, they'll usually hang out on, on people's roofs or their front porches or their lanai's in your neighborhood. So if, if you see one pass through, you might see some burrowing owls just hanging out around your back porch, which for me, that would be great. I mean, I, I think that was so cool, but maybe for some people it's an, a, a nuisance. <laughs> but if you're listening to this video, you probably love birds like I do. So that, that would be pretty cool. So um, yeah, so the habitat loss is also due to storms and um, you know, th uh, more than a threat. Th that's more of a threat than the actual storm itself. So, um, cause they, they pretty much survive. So that's good. Um, so what should you do if you find a burrowing owl injured after a hurricane? So you won't, you, you're not going to feed it, like you're not going to, you know, try to fix the injury or the illness of the bird. You're just going to cover the face and the eyes so it can't fight with you. Put it in a little box, obviously with air, you know, it's got to be able to breathe with air holes and stuff like that. Um, keep it warm and in a dark place and uh, call your local wildlife center immediately, right away. Don't try to, you know, fix it yourself or anything like that. And so you can drop them off or a veterinarian's office. Um, if you live in Marco Island, this is the website that you can go to um, if you live there and uh, the phone number is on the screen the 239-262-CARE or 2273 they're open seven days a week 8a to 8p and um, you can call them or if you live in cape coral you can go to this website friends of cape coral friends of wildlife and you can call them at 239-980-2593 and of course in the keys if you did find one, um, you can call either the one in Tavernier, the Florida Keys um, uh, Center for uh, Bird Rehabilitation, or you can call the Marathon Wildlife Center or the Key West Wildlife Center. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everybody stay safe out there. Um, go to higher ground, you know, do what you got to do, and the wildlife will be just fine. They'll do their thing. Like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.